what's striking about looking at your body of work is that you have lots of lots of roles for women, big and important roles for women. Um, you know, f I mean, your current film, The Assassin, the the assassin is a woman. Um, you, you've used this particular actress, I think, three times. Um, Xu Qi, who is a, a very beautiful actress. Um, is there some, do you, do you particularly like telling women's stories or is it just, is that just how it worked out? I think it was just happened naturally, organically. It happened naturally, but I think one response I would have is that uh, for me, women are interesting because they're more complex, uh, more diverse for me, that they're more interesting and more layered. Whereas men, uh, at least from my generation, they tend to be tougher, harder. Uh, so I did make movies about men. I mean, I did focus on men earlier in my career. Um, but the thing is that I think in some way they're just, they're, they're tougher and harder. And I think, I'm trying to speculate as to why that's the case. And I think it may have to do with the fact that, uh, you know, it's a very patriarchal society that we grew up in. So in terms of the symbol of power, in terms of one's relationship with one's father, it's very, uh, just very male driven. So that might be responsible for the toughness. So for me, women are interesting because they're complex, they're diverse in a way that men are not. Yeah, and they're often a source of strength in the films. Uh, the women are? Yeah, the women are a source of strength. That's right, because I think women are the most powerful. They are the most powerful. Yes. So uh, I think they're harder, tougher, uh, they're also in some way kind of harder to work with in a way because uh, I think <laughs> women, uh, they're more interesting, more layered, and they're also more sensitive as uh, performances. I feel like in some way they are better performers, better actors uh, than the men that I might have worked with. Are they easier or harder to light, Mark? To light? <laughs> to light, yeah. <laughs> so about the same because we use very few lights. <laughs> yeah, because on like take any four movies we make, the, the brightest light, the biggest light would be like two hundred watts. That would be the brightest bulb we have. Um Mende in Mambo. Cafe Sguang. Yeah, Cafe Lumiere. Uh three times. Uh, flight of the Red Balloon. We had really big light, it was for, for working. <laughs> and it was so, really small light. Yang, you know, <laughs> so for us, it's all the same shooting men or women because we don't have lights. We have very little lights, so it's all the same to me. Yeah. And because of this, Julia Binoche was actually quite nervous working with us. <laughs> She even at one point invited her boyfriend to visit the set just to check out and see kind of what is exactly is going on over here. But then afterward, they relaxed and they were able to just trust us.